Never sprinkle salt in these seven places in your house. And I did it and regretted it. This is my story. Seven places you should never sprinkle salt in your home if you don't want bad luck, poverty, and negative energies. Avoid sprinkling salt in these seven places in your home. Wash and see. By God's grace, in today's video, I wish to share with you the negative implication of sprinkling salt in different parts of your house that I'm going to be mentioning. Reason is this, by God's grace, I went on a personal retreat based on the fact that I am preparing curriculum for the academy that I am establishing, which is Awakened Mind Spirituality Global Academy, we are like minds who want to dive deep in, into spirituality and the mysteries that is existing in this universe that will help them to be transformed and taken to another level in their spiritual journey that will equally help especially those that are spiritually gifted to begin to manifest their gift be transformed as well as become spiritual consultants and be able to open their own YouTube channels for those that are interested in spiritual channel as they are now well equipped to provide even personal counseling and then give, make a kind of spiritual videos and transform life. So it, it, it happened that that particular preparation of standardized curriculum now required that I have to go on a personal retreat in order to download enough information and inspiration from Almighty God have called me that will actually help me to make sure that I equip this set of students well. And during that particular personal retreat, I received lots and lots of information that is not mainly for the academy. And these are part of the information. Why I'm taking my time to explain is that even me, I am a victim or guilty of some of the things I'm saying. And one way or the other, I may have even told you to do it. And then bear with me. That is why knowledge evolves every day fresh inspiration comes. So based on that fresh inspiration, I'll be sharing with you seven places you should never sprinkle salt in your house. Perhaps that may be what it has been blocking your blessings, bringing poverty or bad luck. If only you follow me till the end of today's video, you'll find out that seven, seven places. You take adequate responsibility and you continue manifesting abundance without any hindrance. But before then, please give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube algorithm will shift it to other people that need it as to do so. May God bless you. Welcome back to Cheney Action TV. In this particular channel, I discuss three important variables which actually have safety and spirituality. In this channel, we pray strategic prayers. We read the word of God in and out. We believe in balance. That is actually why we do spiritual work. So if this is the very first time you are finding yourself in this channel, you're highly welcome. Please kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so as to always get my next upload. For my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. So without wasting time, let's dive in. The first place you must not sprinkle salt barely, just as I say, don't pack salt in your bed, a uh, you kind of palm like this, because it will connect you to the forefathers and they connect you to the battles you thought you have overcome and start having problems. You are permitted to carry salt with the tip of your finger, but not bare hand. Likewise, don't carry bare salt and place in your doorways in the name of barricading negative energies in the word, name of barricading evil so that anybody that will cross there will no longer have evil instead what you will use to do that is you can grind bitter cola into powder and sprinkle it at the entrance of your house once somebody is entering all negativity is brushed out but never you try it with salt instead if you must put salt at the two at the entrance door of your doorway you can put salt in a glass jar like this even the one that is very smaller and tinier tinier like than this you can actually get it as as small as a jar like this and then remain it open and use it to pack salt and keep it at two edges of your doorways but not to use salt to cross your doorways in the name of when people are passing negative energy is departing because you might also be blocking the blessings the positive energies and the good things that is coming into your home. And at the end of the day, you see yourself praying and the prayer is not coming. Remember that salt is highly spiritual. 
The same sword that God used to enter covenant with some people, the same sword that healed the land was able to destroy a lot. That is to tell you that it is a kind of two edges sword. It's cut like this, it cut like this. Mistake you may make with sword can cause a lot of battles in your life, just like carrying it in your bare palms. So that is number one. Number two is never you kind of sprinkle salt bay on your window, especially if it is only salt. I made video in the past. If you want to block a kind of monitoring spirit, you can mix salt, garlic powder, bitter cola powder, ash, and the potash or charcoal and ash. Mix them together to sprinkle so as to block monitoring spirit, block witchcraft attack, and others. But not to carry only salt and sprinkle on your window. You already know that even the sprinkling alone, it will help that window to rust, to spoil, and secondly, it will block negative energy. Instead, if you must put salt in your window, like this is salt I put, I place in my window, you can see the four cloves in it representing arrow, so that anybody sending arrow to me while I'm sleeping or something, the arrow is going back to center, I send that, I drop it in the window where I normally sleep, but not to carry it and sprinkle bare on my window. It is a no, 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 no. Don't try it. You can actually sprinkle cinnamon, but not salt. If not, you might be blocking your blessings. Like I know, I tell you, every spirit coming to visit you is coming uh, is coming through the window. The good spirit, spirit of favor, blessing, creativity that will help you to create more in information will be coming because that salt, you know, it's, it, it is gathering negative energy. Have gathered a lot of negative energy and they cover the window. The positive one will not pass. But if it is at by one side, inside a container, that negative energy will just be one side to not block the positivity that is entering your home. So that is number two. Number three is this. Don't ever sprinkle salt at the four edges of your bathroom. I have made countless video that one of the ways to attract abundance in your bedroom is fuel and put some quantity of salt like this and drop it at the toilet like a kind of tank toilet tank that is covered or the window but not to go and sprinkle in the four edges of your bedroom because bedroom is where you cleanse your bath you are removing negative energies and it means that it is meant to flow out without stocking warm places because you are gathering it. So when you now put it, it can now stock those negative energy inside. That even when you are cleansing there, those negative energy is not going out anymore. And this is one reason why I, I have said it countless number of times. Don't have fun in your bathroom. You have fun in your bathroom and you are still saying you are going there to do cleansing bath. You are going there to do spiritual work. It will no longer work. I've also made video how salt will help you to flush out your depth. That the same way you you carry salt with with your tip of finger to put in the a kind of uh, soup, you carry it and make prayers that everything that resemble blockages to your finance, blockage to your life, should depart. Pour it inside toilet. As you are flushing it, you declare that you are flush away all your depth, flush away all your problem. You see solution. But by the time you have carried salt and sprinkled at the four edges of your of your toilet, those negative energy will be there. So when you are making such spiritual work, it will not work because the negative energies will block it. So that is number three. Number four is your kitchen. Kitchen corners. Never you sprinkle salt at the four corners of your kitchen. You can sprinkle salt at the four corners of your room. You can sprinkle salt at the four corners of the living room, room but not in your kitchen because it's going to cause a kind of blockages and stagnation of abundance in the kitchen instead of more money flowing in to replace some of the stock and the kitchen stuff that has been used you will notice that there is a kind of uh, blockages and stagnation that those food, uh, food stuff is not replaced we are living in a spiritual world they may be teaching you all these things in another channel do it it doesn't matter by god's grace this is a new revelation Knowledge you know too is dynamic. Abide by this new revelation, you will get blessings that have been delaying. So the next one is under your bed. If you must put salt under your bed, yes, I've made that video countless times. That if you are being attacked with evil dreams and so on and so forth, all you need to do is mix salt with water in a bowl. 
then you can even cut a lemon and still in the middle of that lemon after cutting it for that you add some pieces of uh, a kind of clove that you peel the back a uh, some pieces of garlic you peel the back and still stick four cloves at the mouth of that particular orange that if this is a kind of example of orange but this is the peel you stick four cloves because you will not allow the lemon to separate put the garlic that you have already peeled inside and drop it inside this this mixture of salt and water put it under your bed remove it every seven days if you have been suffering from spiritual attack but not to go and sprinkle ordinary salt or carry this type of salt and put it under your bed you can put close to your head with mixture of cinnamon or under your bed with mixture of cinnamon I have said it before, it helps you to generate new ideas and make wealth. But not just only salt. And it did not mix with anything or water. You carry it because that cinnamon that is there is attracting its positive energy. Why this one is packing negative? You will notice that when you do it, you will start having disturbed sleep. You will not understand yourself. Like I used to tell you, everything is energy, everything is vibration. If need be, don't even put anything under your bed at all. Because most of the bad dream you're having is because of what is under your bed. But if you must put, it's something that will help you in being protected and not something like salt. Because when you do it, it can interfere with your sleep and your rest and cause you some discomfort. Then another one is any religious symbol. For example, you have an altar and then you now go and sprinkle salt in your altar. Or even in the altar in the church, if you must put salt there to collect all negative energy, put it inside something like this and put it at two edges. But not to sprinkle bare salt. Because when you do that, it is a kind of disrespectful and conflicting with the purity of that space. Because that space will begin to draw a lot of negativity that the salt is meant to remove. And then it will be pulling out all the negativity in the congregation or all the negativity in the room. And bringing it to the altar or bringing it to those spiritual items and at the end of the day you may start using it for spiritual work you will say it didn't work the last but not the least is at the center of your house placing salt at the center of your house may disrupt energy balance if you must place you have to mix it with water it will be salt water probably you finish praying midnight and you are feeling presence of spirit and you really want to sleep you don't want to attack you can mix enough quantity like three spoons of salt in a basin or in a bowl like this inside the water and drop it at the middle to drain all the negative energy and prevent them from coming to attack you but not to carry bare salt and drop salt is not ordinary salt is so mysterious that if you as i'm talking now i mistakenly pour only salt now on the ground and i do not pour sugar on top before sweeping it away unnecessary quarrel maybe me and me and my husband is in good tune i left for work by the time i come back it will come with one unnecessary quarrel we we'll start quarreling or even the children will start quarreling this is one thing salt does salt is a highly spirit we are living in a spiritual world you may say diabolical fetish where is it written in the bible go and check some of you that are even saying it to your home is in shambles we are seeing even pastors divorcing for nothing we are seeing even those that call themselves pastors having uh, uh, or men of god having more problems some of you that are saying it if we shake your life it's more miserable than we that are even doing the spiritual work and you are still saying the saying this so why i am saying is please don't joke do anyhow with salt or salt is highly spiritual otherwise some problem you might be passing through might be as, as a result of how you misuse salt headache that you are complaining every time that is worrying you maybe so that you left under your bed while you are sleeping that is causing it remove all these things clear your home if you have been sprinkling salt anyhow before the only place you can sprinkle salt four edges of your room is okay four edges of your uh, 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 living room but not under your bed but not doorways not windowways not kitchen bathroom doing this will block finances block good luck and block good things that is coming to the home so go and make adjustment and amendment and believe me you will come back and share your experience which is positive one in the comment section don't forget to come back and share and God will bless you as you do so. So if you have not subscribed to be part of this family or you have not enrolled in the academy that is coming up on May 1st, what are you waiting for? 
kindly 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 rush and come and shut me up with this number to enroll subscribe hit the bell notification comment on this video share it widely to everybody so that you get my next upload you'll be notified when i upload and then god will bless you for helping to propagate the gospel of peace so with this i say enjoy your day